tell me what happens down here? What exactly are you guys making? Electric, you're, you're making the electric motors here? Yeah, the motors are made on this line you see here, and it starts with the, the rotor. This is a rotor of the motor, and uh, this is where the magnets are fitting on the outside of the, this permanent magnet material. So this is the rotating part, the spinning part of the motor, right. and it's mounted in a water-cooled housing and it's assembled on this line. So electric motors are, are made and assembled here? Yes, we assemble the motors here. We source parts all over the, the world. And where do they go from here? And they go from here to our customers. So they end up, during this, during this along this line, the uh, various parts that we purchase and bring into the company are brought together to create the motor. This is used to actually pick up a motor and move it from station to station. So rather than a man having to pick it up, and the volumes aren't high enough to justify fully automated assembly lines, which is in the hundreds of thousands. Would I be able to operate this? Uh, I don't know how to operate it, but yeah, you probably could. <laughs> we have one of your guys operate it. There's one out, one in the back, that big blue arm back there is, picks up a 200 pound motor. Okay, so you have about 80 workers here? Total employment of the comp of the corporation is 70 to 78 people, most of which right now are engineers. Okay. So we're just in the process of ramping into production. But these are considered green jobs. Yes, the whole company's green job. And here's a finished product. Yeah, this is the motor that comes off the line, and it's water cooled. We've got uh, cooling that flows around the motor to keep it keep it uh, to the right temperature. So this is your final product from this line. This line results in this motor being produced. And then they actually, uh, when we're in volume production, we'll actually go into shipping containers at the end of the line and be taken back to our shipping area. So 80 green jobs help create this? One 80 every, green jobs help create this, yes. One and every six minutes, you said? This line is capable of 20,000 a year, which uh, is one every six minutes, 80 a day. And uh, I think the importance of, from our company's perspective is this motor, one of these propels a car, a mid-sized vehicle, to, to full spec. So it's 11 inches in diameter, about 9.8 inches long, and uh, is capable in this form of about 182 horsepower. So you have a company here in Colorado that is um, a big part of the, the transition to cleaner energy. Absolutely, and we, we've got customers internationally. We, we ship from Colorado to companies in the, not only the U.S., but a lot of Euro, European companies, also India and China. And you're seeing a bigger demand for these these kind of technologies. Absolutely, the, the, the demands Right now, we've got more interest coming into us that we can almost manage. Mm -hmm. That's a fact. So tell me again what you're what you're doing here. I was just checking my program, make sure everything's good. For? Make sure it doesn't run off the edge. And put some. Is this a part of the motor? Yes. Now we're going to put some UV on there. What does that mean? So putting a liquid liquid gasket on there. Oh wow. And what does that do? That seals it so it won't leak water. In case it gets wet. What do you got here? Uh, this is a shaft and rotor assembly. Part of the motor? Yep. Okay. What do you what are you doing to it? Uh, I'm gonna put a over band. Uh, oh this is fiberglass with the epoxy resin in it. What it does is helps keep the magnets from coming loose from the rotor. Now is this one of the operation. early parts of the assembly process? Yes. Oh, uh, we first prep the shaft. Uh, then we stack laminations, we put those two together, then we assemble magnets, and then this is the fourth step. So you're sort of uh, involved in the highly technical side and also the assembly yes. all in one. Uh, I'm a manufacturing engineer, so I get into the process of building the motor, and then I write the processes, develop uh, the machines or whatnot, and then, uh, then I let the operators take over. How, how do you like having a green job? I love it. Yeah? Why? Uh, well, actually, I came from aerospace and defense, and this is a much better uh, growth business, at least growth sectors. So this is just tape? Yeah, it's fiberglass tape, mm -hmm. and then it has a, a uh, glue or an adhesive in, uh, as part of this wrap. And so after we wrap it, we'll bake to make a strong uh, uh, containment of the magnets, so during operation, they can't come loose from the Okay, motor. so where does all this ultimately end up, what you're making right now? What we're making right now uh, will we'll end up in, in a stator in a car, and um, I'm not sure how to answer that really. Some electric vehicle in a dealership somewhere will we'll have one of these? Yep. Uh, there's a few, few customers we're looking at, trying to get on board. You mean you're really at the advent of this sort of explosion of a new industry? It's kind of neat. Yeah, it's very exciting. So what, where is what you're working on right now, where is all this going to ultimately end up? 
in a car we won't be driving. Probably not. <laughs> I have to go to California to buy it, I right. guess. At least now, for now. What do you do here? I am an electromechanical assembler. I've built the board, not so much built the boards, but all the second phase on boards and testing. Um, How long have you been here? A year, just a year now. Love it? It's pretty good. A lot of growing going on right now, a lot of things. The whole, this whole electric vehicle industry is really exploding. I mean, what a time to be in this business, you know? Maybe I can afford one someday. Yeah, yeah, right. Um, do you consider yourself as having a green job? Yes. yes. So what do we have here, Kip? So what we're looking at here is a test to ensure that we don't have any loose fasteners um, or any other. Um, this is a robot. This is a robot. So what it does is it'll Whoa. go through and shake it in, in several different axes up to seven in order to ensure that we haven't left anything loose inside. Wow, moving parts. Moving parts are bad in yeah. this particular piece of the, the puzzle, so, um, yeah. Look at that shaking it. So everyone, every now and then you'll see something fall out, or? Uh, hopefully we don't ever see anything fall out, but in the event that we do, we'll catch it, it'll be detected, and we can, we can uh, put this unit on a rework to make sure we find okay. where it came loose. How cool is it knowing what's happening with the electric vehicle industry or what's about to happen and being Very a part cool. of this? Very cool. So it's been, uh, uh, I've only been with the company since last uh, October, so it's been quite an adventure to go through all this and understand what, what's going on and what it's going into. And yeah, I'm eager to see it on the street, so. Absolutely, so um, so this is this is technically a, a green job that you have here. Have you always Absolutely. had one of those? No, I haven't. So I, before this, I've worked in uh, lasers and window shades and all kinds of different things, but this and is now the first you opportunity I've had to participate in this kind of thing. Now you officially have a green job. Absolutely, it's and great. So these, this is the, this is full of power electronics, power switches, mm -hmm. printed circuit boards, right. and software. And this uh, interacts with the battery pack on, on board a vehicle and manages the delivery of the energy to the motor. And the motor then, of course, is, is what spins to cause the vehicle to propel itself. Right. So this is all the, this is, this is most evaluated. All the brains are here. The brains, okay. So this ends up being those controllers over there. Yeah, it's all said and done. And so what you're looking at is this is actually the water jacket, and it's all rough cut. You can see how rough a lot yeah. of this is. No broken edges. And that kind of thing. I mean... Yeah, it is. And it's aluminum. You wouldn't think that aluminum could be. <laughs> notable. And then we've got a number of machines that we set up, and this is the last step. We actually bought this machine strictly for the purpose of doing everything in one shot. It used to be we had what to does work. everything mean in, a, so in, a, in one sentence? So when we get done with it, what you'll see if I can line these so matching is from one side to the other. This is exactly how it looked when it went in. We get done, we cut all the connector holes. That happens in here. All of it gets done in here. Can we see Two it happen? Cutters, sure. Whoa, what's going on here? So, this we've got a horizontal mill that goes in and we've programmed it. So when we take that raw casting, we drop it into a fixture and it turns the fixture as required and takes all the tooling needed, drills all the holes we have to have, all the connector ports, machines all the smooth surfaces we need in the, in the aluminum and makes it so then it's a manufacturing part. So we take it from a rough sand casting down to uh, a machine usable unit motor. The next thing that actually happens is this. We'll wash all the aluminum chips off of it and it goes directly onto the line and we start building the control. And ultimately it ends up in an EV. Yes, it does. Now, our story here is about Governor Ritter and everything he's done for energy in the state of Colorado and uh, you know promoting green jobs and businesses and, and right. stuff like that. Just wondering how you feel about um, being a part of this entire you know energy effort transition. Having come from a background in automotive, it is really exciting to see where the country and the focus of the people is going towards you know more energy efficient vehicles and that kind of thing. And this is a new developing market. It's there's always excitement in that. I mean there's there's failures and there's successes and you get to see it all and you get to fight through the challenges and, and in the end it's it's a fascinating thing to be involved in.